Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how differently transistor can be configured. So the heading is transistor configuration. It is a simple concept. Suppose I want to operate a device, so I need to give an input and I have to get an output from it. So ideally I should have four terminals, but the problem with the transistor is it is having three terminals. So one of the terminals I need to use as a common terminal for input and output. So based on that we have a different transistor configuration. So following are the transistor configurations. First is a common base. As the name suggests, in a common base configuration also called as a CB configuration, base is the common terminal between input and output. So how transistor act in a common base configuration? So I will uh, repeat. So I will explain this with the help of NPN transistor. So this is a base terminal which is common between this input side and output side with this emitter collector. So here we are going to apply input and from these two terminals we have to take output. So this is a simple structure telling that base is a common terminal between input and output. Let us see a different parameters for this. So the different parameters is nothing but current amplification factor. It is denoted by alpha and it is defined as it is the ratio of output current to the input current. Remember we are using transistor as an amplifier. So it is amplifying a current over here. So the output current in this case will be a, a collector current and the input current is emitter current. So I can say this is equal to IC upon IE. We have already discussed in active region if I bias a transistor such a way that base emitter junction is forward bias and collector base junction is a reverse bias what I am getting is this IC is approximately equal to IE. So if I say alpha is approximately equal to 1, so it means amplification is not happening. So ideally this alpha equal to 1 but practically this value is ranging from 0 0.95 to 0 0.99 meaning what? Here amplification is not happening as such. Let us go to the next configuration and that is common collector. It is also called as CC. As the name suggests collector will be the common terminal between input and output. So let us draw the structure of common collector configuration. So it will be like this.
again i am considering uh, npn transistor only so this is a collector this is a base this is a emitter so here we are going to apply input and between these two terminals we are going to take output so the input current over here is ib and output current will be ic repeat input current will be ib and output current will be ie so the parameter here is again a current amplification factor it is denoted by gamma and once again it is a ratio of output current to input current output current is emitter current that is ie and input current is a base current ib so here gamma is significantly higher so that mean amplification is happening but it has some restriction on voltage amplification therefore even common collector is not used frequently let's go to the third and most important configuration that is common emitter configuration it is also called as a ce configuration so as the name suggests emitter is the common terminal between input and output let's draw the structure it will be like this collector base emitter so emitter is common between input and output so this will become a input port and here we are going to collect output now input current will be the base current and output current will be collector current and this will be a emitter current which will be the addition of ib and ic so here the parameter is current amplification factor it is denoted at as beta and it's a amplification factor that means output current upon input current output current is ic and input current is ib so we have discussed this ib in a transistor for active region is very very small compared to ie and ic hence this beta value is much higher so current amplification factor is very good in c configuration beside the current amplification factor voltage amplification is also good in ce configuration hence more frequently we use common emitter configuration for amplification purpose so i'll write a note over here ce or you can say common emitter configuration is used frequently for amplification purpose let's go ahead and derive the relationship between alpha and beta because alpha and beta are more commonly considered as parameters of any transistor let's establish a relationship between alpha and beta alpha is the current gain 
in CB configuration. Therefore, alpha equal to IC upon IE. Beta is also a current gain, but in common emitter configuration. Hence, I can say beta equal to IC upon IB. Now, we know that for any type of a transistor, the relationship of IE equal to IC plus IB holds true. Now, what I am going to do? I am going to use all these three equations and deriving a relationship between alpha and beta. For that purpose, I will divide throughout by IC. So, what I will get? I will get IE by IC equal to 1 plus IB by IC. Now, this two equations I am going to use and I can write IE by IC will be 1 by alpha and IB by IC will be 1 by beta. Now, I got this relationship, but let us rearrange the terms and solve further to get alpha and beta in terms of respective terms. So, further solving will give me 1 by alpha equal to beta plus 1 upon beta. If I take the reciprocal, alpha equal to beta upon 1 plus beta. So, if you know the beta value that means current gain in common emitter configuration, you can get alpha that is current gain in common base configuration. Similarly, now I rearrange the terms, I will get beta in terms of alpha. So, if I further simplify, what I will get? Alpha plus alpha beta equal to beta. So, alpha equal to beta minus alpha beta. So, that equals beta common 1 minus alpha and hence I can say beta equal to alpha upon 1 minus alpha. So, if I know beta, I can get alpha by using this expression or if I know alpha, I can get beta by using this expression. Thank you.